what is going on guys apple fox here back again with another video so apple has already announced the wwdc 2017 a couple months ago and since then we have found out a lot about what we should see there so in this video i am going to be talking about the expectations and rumors regarding to wwdc 2017 including some rumors of ios 11. so let's get started First of all, in case you don't know what the WWDC is, then the abbreviation stands for a Worldwide Developer Conference that's going to take place from June 5th all the way to June 9th in San Jose, California. It's Apple's annual conference where some software and also hardware are being announced to the public, but mostly the software. Announcing hardware is rather unusual, but this time we expect some hardware stuff as well. So what could it be? Well, Apple intends to release something like a home assistant, or it could also be called Siri Speaker. It's going to be a smart piece of technology placed somewhere in your house, helping you with your everyday tasks. Most likely, it will also be connected to some other Apple devices like Apple TV, for example. It's actually very similar to Google Home or Google Assistant that does pretty much the same thing as the Siri Speaker, but the Siri Speaker has been developed by Apple. So I think it will be a better experience to use the one from Apple. Another thing, in terms of the hardware, should be a new iPad, not sure how it's going to be called in case they release it, because the latest one is just an iPad, so this one could really be called anything. What's interesting about this iPad is that this one should have 12-inch screen in the body of the 9.7-inch iPad, meaning the bezel will be very small. So that would be about it in terms of the hardware. Now let's talk about the software side of the conference, and most importantly iOS 11. Yes, around this time we should receive the first beta of iOS 11. A lot of people want a redesigned look, because last time we have received a significant redesign was when iOS 7 dropped, and that was already a couple years ago. Siri should receive a great amount of improvements. I wouldn't say that Siri right now isn't good enough, but the competitors already have the smart assistants actually smarter. Like Siri doesn't understand the context. For example, if you ask Siri who won the gold medal at the Olympics, She's gonna tell you that she doesn't know anything about the sport awards. Try it out on your own if you don't believe me. But I wanted to say that in case you ask something, you're going to get the answer. But if you keep asking about the same thing again, without mentioning the name of it, Siri doesn't know what it is anymore. So this is something what Siri should definitely get better at. A group FaceTime or FaceTime calling with ability to include more people is definitely expected and rumored to happen, but also many people want it. So it's not like Apple is releasing a new feature and no one cares about it. Emojis. Well, we get new emojis in every major update and this time is going to be no exception. We should get about 17 new emojis, which is quite a lot. I don't really feel like the amount that we have now isn't enough. I don't think I need more, but it's nice to have something new. Besides iOS 11, I also expect to see new version of watchOS, tvOS and macOS as well. All of those will be in beta of course, but we're going to see what Apple has in store for us and how well they'll implement this. So we have reached the end of today's video, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything, I'll of course update you on what's new at WWDC. Anyways, have a great day and see you next time.